Hey guys and welcome back to season 18 of AOR. This time it's round 13 I believe for Monza. As you can see we are going down this long straight and I uh, was away, I was in London last week so that's why I wasn't there at uh, Belgium unfortunately uh, because it's one of my favorite tracks and also the one, one of the few where I'm actually have some pace whereas for some reason today it's just um, I don't think I have that much pace around Monza for some reason and maybe it's because uh, our tier has been filled in with a lot of new drivers um, because apparently F5 I believe or F6 or something didn't function uh, which means that they I think they split the top half of F5 into our tier and then the bottom half of F5 into F6 so that's why we actually got a, a, a set of new drivers in for this week so it's going to be interesting to see how they pan out but, but as you can see right now this lap isn't that great I'm a little bit up on my time I tried some different uh, different ERS settings thanks to uh, Callum Tisto and Bixie and my party who, who let me know about them but um, it does seem that it's making me improve a little bit but I haven't really had that much time with to practice I've been a little bit busy and stuff so so that's probably why I'm a little bit off pace um, and unfortunately my teammate Giant isn't here to to help uh, Ferrari so it's probably going to be a, a difficult weekend but hopefully anything can happen in the race as we're about heading up into the final corner here now we go across the line and it's going to be and 19.7, which is going to put us P7, I believe, uh, in the race. And here we are on the grid as the five lights are away. Indeed, it is P7. Obviously, Monster's always a tricky start, and the lights are away. It held a little bit long there, I think. It seems that we got an okay start, but Grumpy Lion looked like got a very good start. Start German, not that, that well, but we've got someone on our. Uh, outside here, inside, it's a new Red Bull as it drove just, uh, break just a little bit too early. We've got Speed Demon going in like a madman there. He can't feel, oh, that was some front wing there behind me. I think someone must have hit the back of me, maybe that McLaren. I did go very slow through that corner, but it is so tricky to judge, especially at turn one. As you can see, a little bit of a, of a you know, gap has formed between me and the guys ahead and the McLaren behind, but um, hopefully, you know, as they, oh, they go very slowly and I nearly hit them. I had to avoid them. That was very close to going wrong as I just got a, bit of a corner cut warning there just hopefully uh, nothing too serious that will come back to haunt me as I don't really know how bad the penalties are for, for this race um, but um, I'm obviously settled here in P what well, am I in now P9 I believe which obviously I can't do a lot better I want to get back up to like P6 P7 especially because Callum um, G the championship leader has a um, has a penalty uh, so he couldn't qualify or he's like he yeah, got a qualifying ban and um, Giant isn't here obviously and Sims apparently isn't as good as this track as he is, is at other tracks so hopefully I want to get up there but it just doesn't seem like it as I'm here battling with Speed Demon. Can I go up his inside or I'll just wait a little bit and hopefully I can get him here on the main straight as he's a little bit of a better overtaking uh, spot but there are so many cars ahead of him to give him slipstream as well but hopefully they're going to give me some sort of quadruple uh, slipstream here as I go down or actually triple that's mean I can that's bad there as we go past Speed Demon. Can we get... Oh they just bang! The wheels there, the two, uh, what is it, the Toro Rosso and a, and a Red Bull there. So it's just the Toro Rosso goes wide and Speed Demon goes back up ahead. I just wasn't sure what to do with the Toro Rosso now. Just obviously loses out to us. That's fair play that he let us through. Or maybe he just didn't have the, you know, the speed. As we're going to try and make a move on Speed Demon here. We, has, we have got the speed advantage. Can we go up his inside? No, he just manages to uh, defend it. It's a tricky corner. We don't want to pull uh, the Clerk Hamilton uh, from uh, earlier in the season. And hopefully... Maybe if I can stay close here through Lesmo 1 and 2, maybe I can get a good run going into Ascarias. That's actually also a good overtaking spot. Sometimes even better than the main straight if you've got the ERS here, because obviously the DRS isn't open. But even with only medium ERS, I'm actually gaining on it. Maybe I just have a little bit of a lower wing set. Maybe we can go through here on the outside. Is he going to cave? Yes, he let us through. Very, that's actually nice for me. He didn't need to do that. That could have ended up very badly. But we're through into P7 where we started. So hopefully we can build on this. As we cut on to lap 5 over there, as you can see, I'm having a little bit of a, tr a train behind me. I lost DRS at the guy ahead. Uh, and obviously Speed Team still has uh, DRS on me, which obviously uh, gives him the advantage. Oh, so we've been hit from behind by Speed Demon. What on earth happened there? I've got no idea. That was literally out of nowhere. Someone, he just tap me I didn't see that coming and now we are basically last I believe except uh, that of Alfa Romeo there so that's gonna be a long long race and indeed nothing happened and now we're coming out the pits here on lap 12 obviously with the soft medium strategy hopefully 
I've been catching up to some of the slower guys ahead, but I just lost out a little bit and then my tire started completely dying and I had some collisions, incidents with the Callum uh, as well on the way and, and Big C and Grumpy Lion and all turned to shit really as we cut on to lap 26 and I've caught my fake teammate as I doesn't know how to change gear there and uh, hopefully we can just get him here. I've been catching him for basically ever since I spun and now I finally caught him and uh, he just lets it through there easy. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's decent as now he's actually is it gonna come through? No, he's not. And we come across the line here indeed in P12. So that's a little bit annoying. Uh, if I sound weird, it's because I just heard like someone broke into my house, that's why. Um, but um, as you can see, down there in P12, just ahead of my fake teammate, who obviously, I don't know why I picked the Fowey, maybe just forgot to choose a car, I don't know. But the biggest shout out has to go to, to Callum for finally winning his uh, first race of the season. I believe he said. The first one is one in like two years or something, so so that's really good. And obviously Big C as well in the second place. The one-two from Mercedes, as the, obviously I think it's the first of the season as Callum has been a bit unlucky so far. But I mean also shout out to Callum uh, G obviously starting last. Uh, not actually last because uh, Undercut got disqualified in, in qualifying. But um, that's a good uh, race going from, from P17 to P4. Um, but obviously it's just been such a disappointing race for me. Uh, to be honest, but uh, hopefully I can, you know, sh bounce back next time in Singapore, I believe. And obviously, it's not been my best uh, video or, or race, to be honest. But obviously, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything. It's really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.